Good morning. I'm Dr Christine Selvey from New South Wales Health with the COVID-19 update for Thursday the 18th of November 2021. There were 262 new cases of COVID-19 reported in New South Wales in the 24 hours to 8pm last night. There were more than 80,000 COVID-19 tests reported during that period. Across New South Wales, 94.3% of people aged 16 years and over have received the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine and 91.4% are fully vaccinated. Of the people aged 12 to 15 years, 80.7% have received dose one of the COVID vaccine and 74.2% are fully vaccinated. There are currently 199 people with COVID-19 admitted to a hospital in New South Wales, with 29 people in intensive care, 14 of whom are being ventilated. Of those people in ICU, 21 are not vaccinated, three have received one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, and five people have received two doses of COVID-19 vaccine. New South Wales Health's ongoing sewage surveillance system has detected fragments of the virus that causes COVID-19 in samples collected from Darrington and Narrabri, where there are no known or recent cases. Everyone in these areas is urged to monitor for the onset of symptoms, and if symptoms do appear, Please get tested immediately and isolate until a negative result is received. Sadly, New South Wales Health is today reporting the deaths of three people with COVID-19. A man in his 50s from Sydney's southwest died at home. He was not vaccinated and had no known underlying health conditions. A man in his 60s from Sydney's inner west died at Concord Hospital. He was not vaccinated and had underlying health conditions. And a woman in her 90s from Sydney's South East died at St George Hospital. She had received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine and had underlying health conditions. New South Wales Health expresses its sincere condolences to the loved ones of these people. New South Wales has very high vaccination rates but we need to remain vigilant and to continue to increase the vaccination coverage as quickly as possible. If you haven't received your COVID vaccine yet, please don't delay. Even if you've had COVID-19 illness, you still should get vaccinated. As restrictions continue to ease in New South Wales and, New S and the state transitions to living with COVID-19, it is vital that people continue to practice COVID safe behaviours. This includes coming forward for testing if anyone develops symptoms, wearing a mask where required, maintaining physical distancing, particularly in indoor settings, maintaining good hand hygiene, and always checking in using the Service New South Wales app. Just a reminder for people who are not fully vaccinated, Essential services such as supermarkets and pharmacies remain open for you, but venues such as pubs, clubs and hairdressers require evidence of vaccination prior to entry. Under the public health order, businesses are responsible for taking reasonable steps to stop unvaccinated people entering their premises. For example, businesses should have prominent signage stating the vaccination requirements, uh, they should have service New South Wales QR codes and they should have staff checking vaccination status upon entry and only accepting valid forms of evidence of vaccination. Businesses that have vaccination requirements, such as hospitality, retail, gyms and personal services, are being monitored. On-the-spot fines of $5,000 may apply to businesses for not complying with the public health order vaccination requirements. The public health, also, public health order also places greater restrictions on the number of people permitted to attend gatherings such as weddings and funerals 
if there are any unvaccinated adults attending these gatherings. All of these restrictions and limitations on vaccinated people, on unvaccinated people, are about protecting the community and keeping businesses open. Again, thank you to the community for all your continued efforts in getting vaccinated, coming forward for testing and helping to limit the spread of COVID-19 in New South Wales. Please stay safe.